What's up guys? Welcome back to Irish Dragon Gaming. Today I got a super special video for you guys, and I know I say that a lot, but I promise this time it's not a Mammoth Wine video. We're doing something different, completely different. I've got a cooking video for you, and it's in honor of the new Hogwarts Legacy game that came out. I thought I would share with you guys my absolute favorite recipe to make. It comes from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. It's the Irish soda bread recipe out of that. It's an amazing recipe. It's an amazing bread. It doesn't require yeast and rising. It's very easy to make. And if you haven't tried Irish soda bread, you're missing out. When I graduated culinary school, that's one of the things I was in charge of making for our graduation was the bread that we were serving to people. And I opted to go with this recipe instead of all the ones in the fine French dining cookbooks that we had. And it was a huge success. Everybody loved this bread. And this way you guys can see how it's made and give it a try. Let me know in the comments what you think and how it turns out for you. All right, so like I said, very simple recipe, not that many ingredients. So what you're gonna need is right here, just some all-purpose flour, some baking soda that's being used in place of yeast, cream of tartar, just your average salt, a little sugar, butter, unsalted butter, and yeah, we're using Kerrygold Irish butter because it's the best butter on the planet. Please sponsor me. One large egg, and that's right, that is a farm fresh egg, and some buttermilk. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is measure out all your ingredients. Now, we've got this big mixing bowl, and that's what it's all gonna be mixed into when we've got it all out. Set that aside for now, and we're gonna just use smaller individual bowls to place each ingredient in so that you reduce the risk of over adding any one of these ingredients and messing up your recipe. First, go to the flour. You need four cups all purpose flour, plus extra for dusting, so don't put that away after you're done. even level scoops. Okay, so All right, so next up, the most important ingredient in Irish soda bread is obviously the baking soda. For that, you need one and a half teaspoons. Not tablespoons, those are different. Don't mix them up, trust me. As always, keep it butter knife handy. A nice even topping of this measurement so you don't get too much. There's one. And a half. Next ingredient, gonna be the cream of tart, right here. And it's the same amount, one and a half teaspoons of that. And up next, the almost non-existent ingredient, the salt. It is one, teaspoon. That's it. Up next, the sugar. You need three tablespoons, just your average granulated sugar. Tablespoons, not teaspoons. Remember, those are different. Next up, got your butter. Again, Kerrygold, pure Irish butter. Gonna need four tablespoons of that. It's very easy to get. See those little lines on there? Can't mess that up. One, two, three, four. four. So it's just a half stick. Super easy, right there. Now, my advice to you on this one, on the butter, is to just go ahead and cube that up. Don't be afraid of getting butter on your hands, guys. It's gonna happen in this recipe, trust me, you'll see. But it's gonna make it easier in the long run to just get in those small cubes like that so they're ready to go. All right, next thing, we already talked about it, you want egg. It's a farm fresh egg, doesn't have to be. I think they're better, but just crack it into your bowl. So now, you're gonna go ahead and beat that egg. Last ingredient, it's just buttermilk. And when you go to measure that out, be sure that you do have a glass measuring cup 
for liquid because liquid and solid measuring cups are different. The amount that you measure in one cup is different in liquid than it is in one cup of like the flour, the solid mixture. And as you can see, you need one and a half cups of buttermilk. Now the fun part, you get to mix everything together, get it in the oven, and make our wonderful Irish soda bread. First things first, you need to grease and flour. What you should have is a nine inch round bread pan to bake it in. However, when I pulled it out of the cabinet, I broke it. So we're using this guy, because it's gonna be the only one that it can, that it'll fit in, which it, it doesn't really matter all that much. Really any kind of baking apparatus that you can get your hands on will do as long as the round dough fits in it. It's gonna hold its form pretty well. In fact, fun, fun fact, Irish soda bread can actually be done on a stove top. Like you can cook it in a pan on the stove. It's pretty cool, but we're gonna do it just this traditional way, baked in the oven. First, take our other half stick of butter. Like I said, don't be afraid of butter on your hands. You'll be okay. In your oven. And your oven should be preheated to 425. That's where you start the bread at. Now, just add all of our ingredients to a big mixing bowl, starting with the flour. soda cream of tartar salt and sugar which when you get practice at it you don't need to go through all the extra time and effort and dirty and extra bowls but remember you want to just separate it all out so you don't get too much in there at once now so they're just mixing it all up we whisk it together. You remember how I said you can't be afraid to get some butter on your hands? This is the super fun part of this recipe. You're gonna work the butter in in your fingertips, and that's why I suggested go ahead and cubing it in the little squares. So that way it's easier to mix into the mixture rather than putting just one half stick of butter in there at once and working it. It'll make your time go by a little bit faster, and it allows you to mix it in a lot more evenly. <clears throat> you just rub the butter in with your fingertips until it's completely rubbed in. It's still gonna be really floury, just because obviously the massive amount of flour compared to everything else on this bread, but don't worry. It, it's gonna seem like it's not gonna turn out, but it will always turn out, I promise. Work it in until you can't really feel any more of the butter. I'm trying to get it mixed through as evenly as possible. Mix through as possible. Right, so next, the liquid ingredients. We have our beaten egg and our buttermilk. This way you wanna grab your wooden spoon. Yes, specifically a wooden spoon. So you can properly fold the egg into the dough. That just means slowly pouring and folding the, the mixture over the egg. And we're going to do the same thing with the buttermilk. This is when it gets doughy. If I were smart and prepared, you can get a damp cloth and wrap it around the bottom of this bowl so that it holds itself in place for you. I didn't do that. Scrape off the sides, try to get it as even as possible through it, and let the fun begin. Cool. And you'll see that the dough starts to form. It's gonna start to get a little bit more solid in there. <clears throat> it's gonna be a different dough consistency than you're used to if you made a lot of bread and 
this is your first time using baking soda, making Irish soda bread, but it's like it's fairly decent dough consistency. So now we just turn our dough out onto the flour dusted workspace we have there. We briefly knead it into a solid dough. And again, like I said, it's gonna feel a little not together compared to most doughs you make for bread, but it'll all work out in the end, I promise. Don't get nervous because there are breaks and marks and it, it still comes out great. in your pan, flour on top, score the top with an X, and it's going to go in the oven at 425 degrees for 15 minutes. After that, you drop it down to 350 degrees. 40 minutes to finish. So once it's done, you're just gonna put it on a wire rack to cool. As soon as it cools off enough, you can start slicing off pieces right now. It is so delicious straight out of the oven. But... Secret to this, my tip to you is it makes the absolute best toast after the first day. So starting tomorrow morning, you slice this off, put it in the toaster, put a lot of butter on it. Oh, it's the absolute best toast in the world. So that is the Irish soda bread from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. Give it a shot. Let me know in the comments how it works out for you. I'll see you guys in the next one.